Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a um, bracelet. So we're going to need three color or C beads, whichever color that you like it. This one is, um, I'm going to call it light blue because it have a little bit of the light blue color inside, inside color beads. This one is a light blue, then this is a clear. So you can use this class or you can use any of the buttons that you might have handy like that. This one could be go because this one is clear and this one goes with this one because it's clear. This one is black and obviously like you guys know black goes with everything so I'm going to choose one of these buttons and then I'm going to leave this. When I make um, the bracelet with these colors, this one, and with this one, and with this one. I'm going to choose these three colors so to make the same bracelet. I'm going to make a bracelet with these colors too. So it's going to be kind of in this order. You know, you guys can choose whichever order that you guys like it. Me, I'm going to try like that. And for this bracelet, I'm going to use this metal clasp. And for the one I'm doing right now, just because it's a video, I'm going to use a button, you know, whichever button. So we put it on um, CV like that. We leave about three inches of tail. Just like that. I'm using white thread. You guys can use clear if you guys have it. So, just like that. I'm going to pass it twice. I just don't want the CB to come out. I want to actually stop my beads like that. So, there it is. Can still move up like this and down like that a bit but not much so that's what we want we leave this much of tail about three or four inches and then we're going to begin with the pattern i'm going to pick up two or oh, the dark blue two of light blue and one more of blue the ones of the dark blue like that so we put it all the way down now we pass the needle from outside in like this or from top to bottom if you want to call it like that just like that Like this. Now from here, let me put this one closer because it's kind of far. You guys cannot see clearly what I'm doing. All right. So after we do that, it's going to look something like this. So from here, we're gonna pick up. The color is on the top. We're going to pick up two of those of the clear color like that. And we are going up like this. Like that. Make sure it didn't flip because you're going to get in trouble. Just like that. Now right here we're going to pick up two of the color that is going to be next which is going to be the light blue so we pick up two of light blue two of light and one of the clear ones and we escape this one and we pass the needle through the next one like this put them all the way down like this tie it 
like that because the thread is kind of slippery and we wanted this one to get real real tight so like this right here again we pick up two of the light blue and then we put the needle from top to bottom like this we pass it like that now we repeat the same step with it right here we just pick up two of the dark blue and one of light blue like that and then we keep this one and we pass the needle through the next one like this if you guys can choose different colors you know of course you guys going to like it you know like different colors this one you can actually see the pattern I hope that is what I'm trying to do to learn how to select the colors because I do not know how so I'm sorry for that I know I buy a wheel but you know you can buy a wheel and then if you don't have enough money to buy the beads it's the same thing so I just try to combine whatever I have again we pick up two of the dark blue and we pass the needle to the one is in your right from the bottom to the top like so keep a very good tension on your work like that now it's going to be the next one is going to be the clear one so we pick up two of the clear one one of the dark blue like that and we pass the needle through the second from left to right we escape one pass the needle through the next one like this from top to bottom or from left to right however you guys like to say just like that so from here we're going to pick up again two of the clear ones like that and we pass the needle from right to left like so now we're going to pick up the light blue two light blue and one clear like this we pass the needle from left to right escaping always one like this So now we pick up two of light blue. We pass the needle from bottom to top, like so. Pull it. Now we're going to pick up two of dark blue, one of light blue. And we pass the needle through the second from left to right like so again we pick up two of the dark blue we pass the needle from right to left now it's going to be clear so we pick up two of the clear one one of dark blue and we pass the needle through the second from left to right like so keep a very good tension so your bracelet is not going to be loose now we pick up two of clear one pass the needle from right to left just like so
now we pick up two of the light blue one of clear we pass the needle through the second from left to right just like so So we pick up two more of the light blue, pass the needle from bottom to top, like so. Now we pick up two of dark blue, one of light blue, pass the needle through the second from left to right. And like you guys see right here, that's how the pattern is going to look like, just like that. Well, I'm going to continue and I do not want to make this video very long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue making this pattern and when I finish, I'll show you guys how to put it on the last turn all the way around the bracelet so let's put it on two more right here from bottom to top just like so and right here the color is going to be next it's a clear one so we pick up two of clear one of dark blue and we pass the needle through the second, like so. I'm going to make this one like about size 6. So I'm going to continue doing the same thing until I have uh, the lace that I need it. I think this pattern looks really cool, so I hope you guys like it. 